I was in a small working group when uh, uh, we did not, we tried to do a teacher pay raise. Last year it fell apart. Uh, then this summer, uh, myself and a group of about 10 took it upon ourselves to meet and develop a teacher pay plan, plus the, the same time, and I'll call it Senator uh, uh, President Bourne's plan in regards to the state question. It, we were already meeting, but when it went down, we still continue to meet. I want you to know the House of Representatives is absolutely committed. Let me back up on that small working group. We looked at all kinds of plans, and the one that we settled on and, rep and recommended to our caucus was the one, two, and three thousand first year, two the next year, and three thousand in the third year. Um, the speaker supports that. Our caucus supports that. You've heard all kinds of uh, information read in the newspaper that we didn't put a funding mechanism with it. I really don't get bent out of shape with that. I'll tell you, there's, we, we have to come up with $70 million to pay ad valorem reimbursement to our schools, and I can't tell you where that's going to come from, but it's in our budget. That's the point you need to know, and that is the budget we're building in the House of Representatives is to make sure that we have that one, two, and three, and then for the first year, it'll be about $52 million. I can't tell you today it'll come from income tax. I can't tell you it'll come from the unclaimed property fund. I'm just telling you, that is a commitment from the House that we absolutely are doing everything in our power to make sure we have a teacher pay raise because we want to do it, it's the right thing to do. Could be more, should be more, but I'm just telling you, that's the plan that we settled on and that's the plan that we're trying to make sure that we uh, fund and implement for next year for all of our teachers.